YouTube man Topaz Yates back in this time with a little something different because I got a question that I'm like I may have to go ahead and dedicate a whole show towards and which one person asked me how do you go out and get you a record deal? Pretty much this individual is obviously trying to come up, want to be successful with no rap game and such, or so he thinks. And we're going to break this question down all the way through and such, dude. Like, first thing, man, why do you really want a record deal? Like, I can understand the appeal to it, man, because having a record label somewhat seems like you are already established, that you have already been legitimized by an entity that is going to go ahead and get you all of this money and all of this fame and such, man. But that's not the reality of how things work. Like, in some instances, maybe. But for the vast majority, you got to understand that this is the same thing as working a job. You're going to have a whole bunch of politics that you're going to have to play before you could even get any records out there. See, the first thing you got to understand, man, is by signing a record deal, what you're ultimately doing is giving up your potential money in order to get fame for right now. You may think that, okay, if I'm famous, then I'm going to be able to make all of this money by doing whatever I want to do. It's not how the game works anymore, man, because I'm sure everybody has at least heard of a 360 deal, but yet most people don't know exactly what 360 deals do. What 360 deals do, whatever money that you as an individual artist make, record labels take all of the money off top of it, man. And that simply means if you became famous because of a single that they promoted, and that single spawned a clothing line, a TV show, if it spawned all of this stuff, the labels are going to be able to take a big percentage of everything off off top dude which that percentage it changes from artist to artist so sure you'll be famous and people will know you and all of that man but yet if they're taking all of the money off top what exactly are you getting and then fame can turn to infamy real quick if you make the wrong decisions and such man and then a lot of people tend to just fade away now ask yourself does being signed to a label actually legitimize you as an artist because all it is is you being signed to a particular label and giving them the power over your career to whether push you or not push you, in which you're not guaranteed to get a label pushed by being signed to a label. Like, a great example of that would be Lupe Fiasco. See, the only reason why Lupe Fiasco signed to Atlantic Records is because Jay-Z called him up and said, yo, Lupe, I need you to be my first act that I'm going to go ahead and put as president of Atlantic. But yet, everybody should know he didn't go to Atlantic. Instead, he went to Def Jam after Lupe already signed. But yet, because Lupe signed to Atlantic, Atlantic didn't rock with him because they didn't get Jay-Z and they honestly didn't like Lupe to begin with. And that's ultimately why Lupe has been having so many fights with his label to the point that he really was not getting any albums released at all and people had to ultimately boycott to get one album released. I mean, yes, it's nice to say, yeah, I'm this artist and I'm signed to Def Jam and all of that, man, and you may actually get some women because of that, because you can actually prove that you're signed to Def Jam and that you may have a chain or something that they gave you or you paid for out of the money that they gave you to begin with that you have to pay back. But yet, that they can't do for you what you can't do for yourself outside of the massive promotional campaigns that they can put together because they have the budget and they have the monopoly over the radios and television and all of that, man. Like, they definitely can push you really out there with that. But as I said with the Lupe Fiasco thing, man, you're not guaranteed to get that. I mean, if you're not getting that promotion, then what exactly are you getting from these labels that you can't do on yourself, man? Like. Get it in the stores? You don't have to get it in stores, man. You can be straight up digital these days. And a lot of these rappers out here that are signed to these deals and such, man, labels are not doing anything for them. Like, take Big Crit. He was signed to Def Jam. He was definitely releasing albums under Def Jam, but yet they undershipped his albums. They never promoted his albums. They never put his songs on the radio or anything, man. But yet they were still taking percentages off the top of all of the sales that they was doing, man. But yet, understanding all of this, man, if you still decide you want to get a record deal, which I don't understand why you would want to do so, but yet if you still wanted to, here's what you need to do. Step two is do not chase these people, dude. Because you can look online and you can find the addresses to these record labels and such, man. You can find the numbers to the a and You can know who these individual people are, but yet you got to understand that these people do not care about who you are. See, I remember one time when I was coming up and such, man, that I came across an A&R and got his number through some 
other means besides him giving it to me. And I just hit him up just out the blue. And I just wanted to politic with him just to have a small conversation. And he was like the rudest individual there ever was. And it may be because a lot of people are still trying to reach out to these individuals and such, man. But yet, ultimately, none of them really want to deal with anybody unless they have already heard of them that they have a amount of demand for them and such, dude. So it makes no sense to try to contact individuals that really don't know nothing about you. This is, this is why record labels do not accept unsolicited material. And which what that ultimately means is we don't know you so do not send us anything. And they know this because if you send them anything that doesn't have a particular code, then they are not going to open it. Like it has to have something written on the front of that envelope for them to actually consider like, okay, I am expecting this from a certain individual so I have to open this. But if yours don't have that, they either send it back or put it directly in the trash can. But this definitely brings me to a quote from a very good movie if you've never seen it, man, it's called Lucky Number Slevin. What they asked in this is, how do you get the people that cannot be gotten to? And which the answer to that is, you make these people come to you. And that's exactly what you have to do with these record labels and such, man. You need them to come to you because you are hot, because you are moving numbers, because you are doing everything you need to do. So therefore, they want you on the team. That's how they come and get you. Now, how do they find you out of the masses of everybody, man? They follow the bill board religiously, man. Anybody that's getting rotation on the radio, man, anybody who's moving units in the stores, they will see you, man, and when you reach a certain level, they will reach out to you. But yet, do you understand here, this is just a flawed philosophy that they have been kicking out here. The only way you can get put on with them is for them to come to you, and the only reason why they will come to you is because you're already doing numbers, so therefore, if you're doing numbers, why do you even need them? All they're going to do is come to you and take away percentages off top. Yes, they may give you additional promotion and such in order for you to reach big time if you're lucky enough. If you don't fall into the office politics in the wrong direction and everything, man, then therefore you can shine, but yet ultimately you're talking about a lot of ifs here. Honestly, I don't feel as though anybody should be signing record deals, at least until they come down off of that 360 deal and actually deal with individuals a lot fairer and such, man. But yet, if you're desperate and you definitely are thirsty for this, then go ahead and take it, but don't say I didn't warn you. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.